but no touching. Behind the scenes of iconic movie love scenes. Despite the fact that the finished scene may seem gorgeous, shooting iconic love scenes is typically depicted in behind the scenes anecdotal stories as being a tiresome event full of shame. There are, however, certain outstanding tales that are so peculiar, surprising, and intense that it is quite likely that you will never view an on-screen love scene in precisely the same manner as you do right now. Thus, these are the most shocking moments from behind the scenes of iconic love scenes, which explore some danger zones and beyond. The marriage behind a hot true blood love scene. After meeting on the set of the steamy HBO supernatural program True Blood, the celebrity couple Anna Paquin and Stephen Moyer went on to fall in love and eventually be married in the year 2010. And although the majority of us probably wouldn't put, see your other half get sensual with a super hottie on our relationship bingo cards, it appeared to work out for these two when Moyer directed Paquin's love scene with absolute mega babe Joe Manganiello for the launch of the seventh season of the program. According to what Moyer said to Entertainment Weekly, the sex scene seemed to be nothing more than just another day at the office for the two lovers. There are times when I'll be watching on a monitor and say to Joe, oh, just raise your hand up towards Anna's breast. Joe will then do what he is told. Fans of the show will gleefully remember that the scene between Suki and Bon Temps' dreamiest werewolf was a sizzling triumph. Moyer reassured the magazine that these experiences were weirdly good for his marriage to Paquin, saying that it's quite interesting for us as a couple because we've kind of gone to places where a lot of people don't get to. Margot Robbie got all cut up for Wolf of Wall Street. You want to come up for some tea or something? Oh yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah. Tea, f yeah, I wanted to come up for tea. If Margot Robbie's account of shooting the legendary sex scene in the movie The Wolf of Wall Street is anything to go by, then the role play session based on The Wolf of Wall Street that you had planned may not be the greatest idea. Robbie as Naomi LaPaglia makes her capitalist aspirations come true on top of a mound of money with unscrupulous stockbroker Jordan Belfort, Leonardo DiCaprio. But the Oscar candidate claims that the scene wasn't as lovely as it sounds. The tutors Henry Cavill needed to chill. Then get a bed with me. In the same vein as the American period drama Bridgerton, the British period drama The Tudors served up its historical tale along with large helpings of sensuality. It would seem that the actor Henry Cavill had his first encounter with love scenes while playing the part of the flamboyant playboy Charles Brandon. The actor, who learned the hard way that shooting love scenes may come with some unexpected shocks, was definitely put through his paces throughout the experience which by all accounts served as a learning curve for him. Cavill, while speaking to Men's Fitness, recounted the moment during the show when he became involuntarily aroused while shooting a love scene. He said this happened when he was playing the role of Superman. A girl had to be on top of me. She had spectacular breasts, and I hadn't rearranged my stuff into a harmless position, he claimed. As a consequence, Cavill had a normal bodily response, which he referred to as inappropriate and quite humiliating something that he profusely apologized for to his scene partner while they were together. The final product of Cavill's love scenes on the Tudors may seem staggeringly hot, but the reality is anything but. As the actor revealed to the newspaper in Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, he remarked, It's truly painfully unpleasant to be nude in a room full of people. Sexy is the last thing you could ever call it. The Agony of Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart Scene in 2011, the most talked about topic on the whole globe was the love tale of a clumsy young girl named Bella Swan and a brooding, tall-haired vampire named Edward Cullen. And after three films of kissing, romance, and many other spider monkey hijinks, the Twilight film series was ready to take the couple's relationship to the next level. And moviegoers couldn't wait to see it on the big screen. When it came time for Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson to play their respective roles, the strain that had been building up for their inevitable love scene proved to be too much for them to bear. In 2015, Stewart gave an interview to Harper's Bazaar in which she discussed how the enormous expectations of the fans made it challenging to shoot the love scene in Twilight Breaking Dawn. She said, We were tasked with acting out the most epic sex scene in the history of the world. It had to be transcendent and otherworldly superhuman, and better sex than you could ever humanly conceive. And when we heard that, we were like, how are we supposed to live up to that? Pattinson similarly stated on the Australian talk show Kyle and Jackie O that the cast and crew were laughing behind the scenes at the actors' faces of ecstasy during the high-pressure love scene depicting the greatest vampire sex you've ever had. This scene actually causes a bed frame to break in the film. You remember saying something along the lines of, we're doing it only to the camera, and the camera guy is laughing as well.
the raw misery of Blue Valentine's intimate moments. There are some very emotional love sequences in Derek C. and Francis' drama, Blue Valentine, which is undoubtedly one of the most heart-crushingly realistic descriptions ever placed on film concerning the beginning and end of a romantic relationship. And according to the movie's two actors who lived as these characters throughout shooting, the production of such sequences was not exactly a stroll in the park at any point during the production. While Ryan Gosling told W Magazine that he and Michelle Williams attempted to achieve a sense of intimacy with their simulated love scenes in an effort to reflect how, in real life, sex is messy, his co-star Michelle Williams described the filming of these scenes as really dark days due to the method acting element of their performance process. The beginning of our relationship was the first scene we filmed, and it was full of energy and pleasure. Then we filmed the sex sequences, and it was toxic. She revealed, Ryan and I had stopped responding to one another as Ryan and Michelle. Those sequences dragged on for an eternity. I had a long commute each night from the set to my house, so in order to pass the time, I would hang my head off the window like a dog, put the music up as high as I could, and scream. The aforementioned poison almost jumps off the screen, as everyone who has watched the movie will attest to. And a huge part of the credit for this goes to the powerful performances given by the characters. Gucci Mane got shut-eye during his Spring Breakers love scene. Harmony Corrine, a cutting-edge independent director, discovered something interesting when shooting a love scene with Gucci Mane for his film Spring Breakers. It seems that not everyone finds the filming of love scenes to be nearly as fascinating as Henry Cavill does. At this point, 20 hours into the last day of filming, the director revealed to Vulture that the scene in question was one of the final ones he needed to shoot for the movie. They did not expect that Maine, a rapper famous for songs such as Kush Is My Cologne, would be essentially catatonic as a result of the number of herbal pleasures he had consumed with his crew before filming the scene. While we were filming the scenario, Corrine said, I started to hear snores. He had actually gone out. I had never in the history of my life videotaped a sexual encounter in which the male participant was asleep. The director has verified that this particular version was chosen for inclusion in the film, and the overall laid-back atmosphere of the love scene fits in very well with the personality of the protagonist. When Maine was approached by Vulture about this tale, he verified that he was knocked out during the production of that scene, since he was worn out from filming and playing at a concert all on the same day. He claimed, I was quite weary since Harmony would work for about 48 hours straight. Harmony is a good friend of mine, yet despite the fact that he is an excellent filmmaker, he is a demanding boss. And that's it. Share in the comment section below your favorite movie love scene and tell us why it's your fave. Thanks for watching this video. Click the subscribe button and see you in the following video.